that knows what he's doing. But and Where? how is this supposed to help the city? Doc, I was told you know Bart. Who doesn't know Bart? What's this all about, anyway? He left his post. He's accused of desertion. Son of a bitch. He finally went for it. Good for him. Good for them. If I were you, I'd just leave him be. We all should. This probably happened because Meyer can't keep a leash on her men. You hear any other bullshit about Bart? Um, he's been accused of theft. Well, that's nonsense, that is. Bart is honest as the day is long. He's got no reason to steal from anyone. And the CO doesn't want to believe it either. You mean Meyer? Hmm. That's all I've been told. Trust me. A lot of other PK have had it in for Bart since day one. Meyer's respected, mostly. But when it came to Bart, her men refused to follow her lead. I trust you, so I'll tell you this. Bart's loyal military, but he had another side. Like the outdoors, always out near the fields. As the field workers on top of the old office building at the intersection of Van Peel and St. Paul Boulevard. It's right here in New Dorn Park. Thanks. I'll do just that. Oh, hey, it's you. Take it easy. Running the streets at night? Damn, it's hard enough on the rooftops. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. I'm looking for Bart. Mm, hasn't been here for a while. Might be watching Andy's kid. Been doing that more and more lately. Andy? Yeah, Bart's friend. Andy's got the cutest kid, Liam. The way Bart acts, you'd think that he was Liam's father. Ah, uh, where can I find him? Don't rightly know. I've only seen him when they brought Liam here. But you could ask around. Thanks for the tip. Fighting for five years now, and still no invitation to Carnage Hall. I take back everything I said about you, Pilgrim. You really helped us out there with the radio. Thank you. So I hear Frank guided you over the radio. Man, that was courageous of you. I can't believe it. This Chiro guy keeps winning. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. Some kind of audio diary from people before the fall. Hi, uh, looking for Bart. Can you tell me anything about him? Oh, well, for one, you're not his type. Wait, wait, what? Relax, honey. I was just pulling your leg. The look on your face, my. 
To answer your question, I can tell you that Bart is as fine a man as I've ever known. High praise, I know, but I'm not just talking his looks. He's brave, kind, caring, loves children. Especially Andy's son, Liam. Andy? Bart's bestie, Andy. Those two are like two peas in a pod. And Liam, he's, well, like a spring pea, I guess. How Bart dotes on that boy. Hmm, so where can I find him? Probably at Andy's. They had a few of us up for some cool drinks just yesterday. Such kind souls. Up? Where? Andy's place is over there. Not far. You can get there quicker if you're any good at climbing. Yeah, <laughs> good to know. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. You tell those boys I said hi. Running the streets at night? Damn, it's hard enough on the rooftop. Hmm. Fresh fingerprints in the dust on these keys. Someone was playing this recently. This belongs to. It can't be far. this mean? Looks like I'm in luck. Let's have ourselves a little chat. Introductions are in order. You're Bart, I presume. No, uh, why do you ask? Ah, oh, then you must be Andy. Nope, wrong again. Then stop wasting my time and tell me who you were. A competitor, apparently. Uh, so you're after Bart too? I am. Huh? She must be really Jones, and for what Bert stole, she's hiring any old Tom, Dick, or Hardy. I didn't realize this was a horse race either. Normally, situations like this piss me off. But if Moyer hired us both, it means we're on the same side and can share intel. So, did you dig up anything on Bert? There's something. Does the name Steve ring any bells for you? Steve, yeah, slippery Steve, slime bucket. What's he got to do with this? Oh, he left what looks like his calling card. Uh, he'll be in the canteen, but he'll see me coming a mile away and try to sneak out. Since you don't know each other, you can walk right up to him. Hmm, good idea. Let's play it this way. You intercept Steve at the canteen, and me and me boys are wired outside. Make sure he doesn't try and give you the slip. Sounds solid. Keep us in your back pocket. But if he gets cagey, then tell him we're outside waiting. So we can talk to you, or come out and talk to us. And <laughs> we're more likely to be talking with our fists. I'll do that.
So, this card belonged to you? <laughs> well, it sure does. Where'd you find it? How may I serve you? Well, you can serve me by telling me what you know of Bart and Andy. Never heard of them. Even if I had, I take client confidentiality very seriously. And I take finding them very seriously. How seriously? Stop fucking with me. You want something for the info? Say it. Wasn't asking for charity. Uh, well, that changes everything. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what you need to know. Yeah, but? But you've got to do something for me in return. First. Yeah, like what? Like? Oh, I don't know. Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> I want to come up with something good. If you're just going to waste my time, I... Uh, hold up, hold up. <sighs> okay. Almost got it. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. I know what you need to do. <laughs> you gotta sing. Excuse me? You look like you got a set of pipes on you. Let's hear you belt one out. Ballad, upbeat number, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Rap. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> if you want me to tell you about Bart, then you'll do it. That's ridiculous. Judging by your reaction, might be therapeutic. <laughs> you got the music in you. Let it out. You can't be serious. Last chance to get what you want. Rap like no one's listening. Although everyone in this place most certainly will be. Fine. I'll do it. I saw Frank and barely recognized him. He had the energy of someone half his age. Let's see if you can lay it down. Talk to me, bro. Let me introduce myself. Aiden is my name. Phil adores my jungle gym, and that ain't no shame. You know I can climb, but I can also bust to rhyme. Yeah. So being a pilgrim ain't my only claim to fame. Hey, tell us about it, brother. To the top of this town, to the waters below. There ain't no place in this city that I can't go. Yeah, I got mad skills and quite a few kills. Yeah. You can pay me to help you, but I ain't no ho. All right, all right, all right. I say, Aiden in the house. You say, Aiden in the house. Aiden in the house. I say, Aiden in the house. You say, Aiden in the house. Keep it going. Aiden in the house. Aiden in the house. Keep it going. Aiden in the house. That's my introduction. It's who I be. I'm here on a mission, most definitely. My path I am choosing, but you won't see me losing. Yeah! Won't stop till my past is revealed to me. Ooh, man, a mystery. I like it. Oh, man, you are a health quick, Aiden. You gotta get going. They're eating you up. <laughs> Why not? Had to give the people what they want, right? Yeah. They call me a miracle, a lyrical shotgunner. Here to regale you with the tale of the night runners. They sided with the people at the time of the fall. Yeah! And I think you'll agree that the story is a stunner. Dude, enter my seat, man! Totally! Jacked up on inhibitors, they were major contributors. They fought against monsters and fascist exhibitors. They ruled from the rooftop to the streets down below. Then came the fateful night we lost our hero babysitters. Oh, say it ain't so! The tower was the doom. You sing, the tower was the doom. The tower was their doom. The tower was the doom. The tower was their doom. You sing, the tower was their doom. There were traitors in the room. The tower was their doom. The tower was their doom. The building became their tomb because the tower was their doom. The tower was their doom. Yeah. Oh, you're bringing a tear to my eye, man. 
The only night runner left is Frank at the fish shy. Drowning in booze, the only way he can get by. But maybe he'll cope, cause in his heart there is hope. Yeah. To bring back the night runners to him would be so fly. So fly, man. So, so fly. <laughs> Oh, that was fucking amazing. Like, lyrical parkour. Outstanding. Come on, man. Let's talk. Whenever Matt walks into the canteen, Juan gets up and leaves. Seriously. <sighs> That's what I call an unforgettable performance. Gotta admit, when I asked you to sing, I was yanking your chain. <laughs> but that was perfect. You're gonna tell me what I need to know, or I'm... Oh, right away. <laughs> no further delay. Uh, fine. <laughs> your Bobsy twins hired me to make sure they and their kid got to the Colonel safely. Paid well. Easy job, really. But we ran into a Peacekeeper patrol along the way. Nasty bunch. Your boys freaked the hell out, worried about the kid, and had me leave them right then and there. I mean, what do I care? They paid me up front. Anything else? Nope, that's it. You sure? Believe me, I'd love to drop another quarter in the jukebox for one more song, <laughs> but I'm being honest here. That's all I know. All right, then. Tell me where you left them. Um, there's an old coffee shop. Not far from here. By the off-ramp from the E12. By a metro stop. You can figure it out from there. Not in a million years. Signs of a fight. Recent, too. Very recent. Oh, the weapon broke. Looks familiar. hiding nearby. Based on this, they gotta be.
And what do you want? Whoa, calm down. Yeah, I'm just here to talk. You look familiar. You Bart? Yeah. You're Aiden. Demire sent you. Yeah, she told me to find you and get back what you stole. But I talked to Stach and more than a few others about you. Made me think there's more to this situation than meets the eye. Meyer tried, but she couldn't help. I couldn't take it anymore. Day after day. Will you two keep it down? Liam's asleep in the next room. But whatever your personal issues are, desertion and theft are serious. She plans to send her men for you. She'll get a lot of volunteers for the search team. I'll be executed on the spot if they find me. Probably why she sent you. Give me a running start. So, you did steal the map. It isn't a map, per se, but tells the location of some secret PK stash. Weapons, I bet. It's all I can think of to offer in exchange for the Colonel granting safe haven to the three of us. I see. Like hell. People like you never do. You never see. Andy, stay out of this. It's too late for that. You know it. Fuck this map or stash or whatever the fuck it is. The PK are the monsters here. Surely you understand. You'd have taken this from me by now if you didn't. Is that what you think? I do. If you go back to Meyer and tell her you've killed us, I'll give you the coded message. And my dog tags. Do this, please. Just let us be. I sympathize, but desertion and theft are serious crimes and I have a job to do. Please, this isn't desertion. This is survival. Not just for me, but Andy and Liam as well. Would you please just help us? None of you deserve this, least of all Liam. I'll help you. Oh, thank God. Andy. Give Aiden the message and my dog tags. It's okay. If you say so. I had planned on going to the ship's library and finding a book or two that could help me decipher it. But things went south real quick. I didn't have time to check. Maybe I'll check. I'm curious what this is all about. Just don't get caught, or you'll be right behind us. Assuming you don't get caught, you'll never see us again. You're better off not going to the Colonel anyway. You know they call him the Butcher, right? We don't have a choice. What do we do? We'll stay here for now. Till we figure out what to do next. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. If I could find you here, others could just as easily. You should keep moving. You're right. We gotta keep a low profile in any case. But at least we're alive. And we'll be together. I wish you all luck. Take care. Looks like we got a real party going on here. You're Clint's man, I gather. Yep, he weren't kidding. You're a real bloodhound to track these pervs down like you did. Wait there. I'll handle this. Your work is done here. Just give us the map, and we'll take it to the canteen where Clint's waiting for it. Not a chance. Tell Clint to fuck off. This goes to Meyer. Fuck off! We do the fucking around here, buddy. So get ready for us to fuck you up. Man, I just been waiting for an excuse to kill you. 
And now I got it. Get him! Until today, I thought our chances against the Renegades were pretty good. But now, I'm not so sure. Your boy Clint was a real charmer. Thanks for that. Look, I had to double down on finding Bart. Tell me you found him at least. I did. And? Here's his dog tags. He's a little too dead right now to need them anymore. But Aiden, you weren't supposed to kill him. Even I wasn't gonna let that happen. He attacked me. I had to defend myself. I... I see. But the map. Tell me you at least got the map. Yeah, right here, as promised. And I know it's not a map. Whatever. Thank fucking Christ. If the Colonel or anyone had gotten a hold of this, it would have fucked up months of planning. Things are now unfucked, thanks to you. I'm glad to hear it.
You're back? What the hell happened? Infected? No, met Derek. Cheerful fellow. Not resentful at all. So, you talked. Do you think he's behind Mike's death and the other disappearances? Yeah, could be. Seems to have it out for the entire outfit, even though he claims to revere it. And he knows enough to understand what would happen if the guild were destroyed. That makes him very dangerous. So where is he? I don't know. I didn't follow him after. Came straight back here. There's more reasons to be careful, then. No use waiting around for something bad to happen. You have any deliveries for me? I do. But remember, you have more than Derek to worry about out there. Don't worry, Professor. Postmen have been delivering in adverse conditions for thousands of years. The paths we walk become roads. Isn't that the same? Well, aye, but the roads better not be bustling with the infected. Especially the types we're seeing now. Reports of new and, frankly, terrifying new creatures. Yeah, I've seen plenty. God help us. I wouldn't hold your breath for that.